Yesterday in day 80 of AI blogging, we were looking at a new chat GPT SEO plugin called Brainwork. Today, here in day 81, we are using that plugin, or we have used that plugin and we have created a brand new blog post based upon the keyword analysis we were able to do. Here we have created 10 unknown facts about the asteroid belt. The keyword here is unknown facts about the asteroid belt. And we got there or we were able to create that blog post after we analyzed this blog post, amazing fun facts about the asteroid belt with the keyword fun facts about the asteroid belts. So now we have fun facts about the asteroid belt and we have unknown facts about the asteroid belt. And it came here utilizing the plugin Brainwork where I ask it to please analyze this blog post. Again, fun facts about the asteroid belt for these keywords. Check if my content is optimized for SEO and tell me how to improve the blog post for better SEO rankings. Now you see this list of keywords that I provided Brainwork to go out and scan. That list of keywords came from inside of the Google Search Console. Of course, you can see here we have over 9,000 impressions. And as you know, we started this journey way back on April 16th. Here we are with the latest data on July 3rd. Today, of course, is July 4th. Happy Independence Day for all the Americans that are watching. And what I did here is I went to pages and I was looking at the number of impressions and I was looking at how to memorize the planets and then best binoculars, best gifts, telescope buying guide. And I skipped over those three just really because I'm not interested in those posts at this point, buyer guides or doing best post and trying to get product reviews or informational type posts to rank. I'm more interested in these facts or these fact posts. Universeunreal.com post fun facts about the asteroid belt. So I selected this page. And then when you go to queries here inside of Google Search Console for that specific page, it's going to give you the top queries. You can come down here and you can drop this down. You can see there's 40 keywords listed here that I'm ranking for for that page. So I was able to select all of those or actually I came up here and I clicked export. Then I exported that to a Google sheet. It gave me all the keywords right here. You can see there are 40 keywords. I just copied those, took those back over to chat GPT. And of course we saw those already where I pasted those in. And then we are able to see what Brainwork did, but understand Brainwork at this point only scanned four keywords, asteroid belt facts, facts about the asteroid belt, facts about asteroid belt, fun facts about the asteroid belt. So these four keywords right here were the only ones out of the 40, which were the top four. That's probably some type of limitation either with chat GPT and or the combination of chat, G chat GPT and Brainwork as far as how much data that it wants to parse or how much data that it wants to try to go out and find information for. But either way, it took those top four keywords there and it gave me this information and you can see the analysis here. It's just basic analysis and that was great. And that's what I told chat GPT. Great, thanks. But how can we improve the blog post based on the keywords listed or should I write another blog post to address these keywords? Then it went ahead and scanned again based on the keyword data analysis. Here are some suggestions and it gave those suggestions. I wanna fast forward down to this paragraph where it talked about the different keywords and then it said right here, it might be more effective to create a new, more specific blog post targeting these keywords. For instance, you could write a post about 10 unknown facts about the asteroid belt, or it also said the most surprising facts, but I think that is too close to fun facts. But I think unknown facts versus amazing fun facts, having those two blog posts on our blog are going to allow us to rank for the same keyword, but also have additional keywords in there based upon the keyword unknown versus fun and have some element of clickability when someone sees the title unknown facts versus fun facts. So next up, here's what we did. We said, please provide me a content brief for a blog post about 10 unknown facts about the asteroid belt targeting these keywords, asteroid belt facts and fun facts or facts about the asteroid belt, not fun facts, but just facts. So then it writes the content brief you can see the content brief here, which is effectively an outline because we're just doing a fact list, 10 unknown facts. We're basically just listing the facts. We do have an introduction that we wrote here or that we will write and we do have a conclusion. The rest are just facts. And all I did was take my handy dandy prompt or the input that I've been using about the hypnotic Nickelodeon style at a fifth grade reading level. 
It wrote the introduction, then it ran through and I had it write all of the facts down to fact number 10. Here it wrote fact number 10 and then I had it write the conclusion, but I also had it link out or link back to fun facts about the asteroid belt as well as write an SEO excerpt. So we did all that. We created the post. So we have that post and we have a new post here under space fun facts. And you can see here, I've added that to the space fun facts blog post URL tracker. It was written by ChatGPT4 using the Brainwork plugin. The keyword came from Rank IQ, or the keyword did not come from Rank IQ, it came from ChatGPT, whereas all the other fun space facts came from Rank IQ and were all written primarily by Koala, Koala 3.5, and Koala Bulk, which is 3.5, and then some other Koalas, or the last one here. I had Koala use ChatGPT4 or just GPT4 on the back end inside of Koala. And again, that research was done using the Brainwork plugin that we covered in day 80. So be sure if you didn't see that one, head back over, watch day 80 to check out the Brainwork plugin. It's pretty cool. So far, so good. If anything, it gave us an extra blog post that we've added to our blog as we head to 100 blog posts, hopefully indexed and ranked by the time we get to day 100. If you're having fun, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, questions, whatever you're thinking, and I'll see you in the next update. Bye.